Ah, Grand Project Update. Uh, basically, uh, we abandoned the, uh, the oscillating hammer setup. Uh, what is it? Uh, I forget what they call it. But, uh, uh, you know, with the, uh, the two-stage oscillator, that's it. Uh, so we reassembled the, uh, you know, we got our, our spring 50-pound uh, weight. I'm not exactly sure if that's, uh, you know, going to work uh, well in this situation. Weight might be too much. It's too diff It's really difficult to get it tuned in so it, uh, you know, works properly without traumatic force. Uh, let's see here. We have uh, a one-way bearing and a uh, pry bar to aid in uh, starting the device. Uh, over here... Let's see, we have about uh, 15 pounds on uh, on this end, on the long end, and then we added a, uh, a dramatriative uh, weight inspired, uh, you know, by uh, Purely Primitives Project. So we still have to add the weight and uh, do some testing. But uh, the scary part is, is when this thing stops... Uh, when the main flywheel stops rotating and starts swinging back and forth, the assisted pry bar uh, is only on a one-way bearing, so as it swings back the other way, there's nothing. It basically becomes a big chopping blade. Uh, so that's a safety factor. Might have to add uh, some sort of clutch. Uh, I'm not really sure. But uh, let's see if we can get it going, and then uh, we can watch All it right, perform. So let's try to get it uh, operational without hurting ourselves. And uh, okay. uh, aid in uh, moving that weight at the top of the stroke. Uh, so we, if we pulse it at the top of the stroke, it'll swing the weight out and, uh, you know, make this side much, uh, the longer side much heavier. And, uh, that'll transfer more, uh, energy or power to the output shaft as well. So it's just about ready to start going into chopper mode. Uh, maybe one more, huh? Uh, and there it goes. <laughs> So that's a danger, and uh, 